Hey folks, good morning. This is Jeff with Real Country with Jeff and Melanie. Uh, here again, we're in Tuscaloosa on the University of Alabama and thought I'd make a little video and take you all on a trip to Smith Hall, the Alabama Museum of Natural History. It houses fossils, fossilized tracks, skulls, skeletons, uh, the Brazilosaurus, the state fossil of Alabama, and rocks and minerals. Uh, it's one of the oldest buildings on campus. It was originally where they taught geology and biology. And uh, as of right this moment, there are still students everywhere taking classes today. Uh, so we'll just, I'll shut up for a minute. We'll, uh, we'll walk through, take a little tour, and show you some of the dinosaurs and rocks. And we're going to start off here with some pictures of some snakes. And these are just some of the uh, snakes that are native here to Alabama. Kind of help with some identification. There were cotton mouths and copperheads and some harmless ones. It's a very beautiful building. Nice hardwood floors. And we'll check out some of this architecture real quick. And now we'll we'll head upstairs and take a little look. Smith Hall dedicated to geology and natural history, elected in 1910. And we'll ease up. And this is Dr. Walter Brian Jones, state geologist and director of the Alabama Museum for much of the 20th century. And now, it's like welcome to Jurassic Park. And we have a holy mammoth skull. And I believe the tag says this is 12,500 years old. It's from Kenosha County, Wisconsin. And here are some, don't know how you can see with the glare, but some fossilized Mosasaurs remains fossilized. Alrighty. And we'll do a quick walk through. This is huge. Let me flip this over and put it in perspective. Uh, I'm 6'4 and about 250 something pounds and this is up to my shoulder right here big animal I don't know what's going on hopefully it's still working and here is a Demopolis Mastodon Last teeth. And a 
I can pronounce this correctly, a Cranato Siren found in Charleston, South Carolina, about 35 million years old. Uh, it was just, they are the forefathers of the manatees. And I believe these are the uh, flipper parts of giant sea turtles. Trying to be a little quiet, so bear with me. There are classes going on, even though this is a museum. I don't want to disturb anybody. These are mosasaur teeth. Kind of remind me of a modern day car. All these smaller teeth. And there's a photo of what it would have looked like. Some vertebra. Kind of looks like a gar school. Uh, this is a Exafactinus, I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. Predatory fish from the age of dinosaurs, around Cretaceous period, 75 million years old. Fish would have been almost 20 feet long. And a few more artifacts, fossilized, and to scale with a human. It's a big fish. Alrighty, now. This is hanging just to get you a little bit. It's so big I don't think I can really get it in the shot. This is a huge skeleton. Goes all the way up. Big fella. And here's everybody's favorite dinosaur just about. This is a reproduction of the first T-Rex skull that was found intact. And like I said, this is big boy. Would not want to get in them teeth, they're big as my hand. Dinosaur track and not to touch it but to give you a little scale I'll hold mine there. Let's see here. That's mine to scale and I'm a size 15. That was a big boy. These are some ocean shells, I believe. I don't see any signs. Used to, you could find every now and then stuff like this in the creeks. Here's some pieces found in Alabama of dinosaurs and reptiles. Crocodile vertebra. Hmm. Different minerals and rocks. Amethyst, that's pretty. And 
This is an ancient bison skull. It was found in Montgomery County, Alabama. And here's a, I know that's a little too fast, but take another view of the overhead hanging skeleton as I walk through it. Up the rib cage to the breastbone. That jaw's either like an overgrown gar or crocker. Gator almost. Monster. That is the Bazillosaurus. Setoids Alabama State Fossil it is an extinct species of whale that swam in the shallow seas along the Alabama coast 34 to 40 million ago, 40 million years ago. Oh, found in 1830s. Wow. They said this giant sea serpent would have been 114 feet long and weighing 400,000 pounds. And here's some of the old uh, scientist equipment, what their offices and desks would have looked like in the museum. Showing how they would have field camped when they were, well, this is pictures of 1897. Jefferson Davis Jackson and Smith's son at Columbia, Alabama, in the field. And here's a replica of their camp and wagon that they would have went out in exploring. And here's some of the tools that the teacher and the field crew would have worked with. And what's amazing to me is I was looking at everything, the levels, the altimeters, microscopes. Look at Dr. Smith's eyeglasses. I have a pair in a case very similar to that that belonged to, I'm assuming, one of my great uncles or grandfathers. And I will show that in a later video at the, if when I get to the house. And believe it or not, they're exactly what I need for magnifying glasses. My vision is still pretty good, but sometimes I need reading glasses and, and they work perfectly. And here is a skull. And I'm trying to see what this creature is. State fossil of Alabama. Okay, so that's another one of the ones that's hanging up. That is awesome. Kind of reminds me of a giant gar. And the gar may have turned, in, turned into what they are from this originally. Through millions of years of evolution. Now, don't get me wrong, folks. I do believe things can adapt as time goes on, like animals. But let me say this. Uh -oh, I touched the wrong thing on my screen. Let me get it where I can see it. I do believe animals will adapt to the conditions they may get a heavier coat, just like in summertime and wintertime. Their coat will change. But uh, I don't believe for a minute I came from a monkey. Good Lord made us. He made the animals. I believe he made these as time went on. I believe, you know, if he decided we didn't need what we needed or be so big, he shrunk them down. So I get out of that argument real quick. But folks, uh, 
I think I'll wrap up my little tour of the museum right here. This is a very beautiful place. I'll give a quick pan around one last time. This is actually a three-story building. Beautiful ceilings, great architecture. Love these old columns. Beautiful hardwood floors and old-timey staircases. But I'll wrap this up. Thank you all for watching. If you like the videos, please hit the like button. Subscribe. Gives us a thumbs up. And please tell your friends. Uh, good Lord's willing the creek don't rise. We'll see y'all a little bit later on. Thank y'all.